Okay, here I have a really nice, really clean two owner Ford F350 um, in the XLT Lariat, which was the highest model you could get. Um, like I say, it's a two owner. Back in the day, these commercial trucks were just that commercial trucks. And they didn't have all the super neat seats, and you got some vinyl covered crappy board bench seat and all that. This one here is a roll along package. And someone special ordered this thing and it was an aftermarket thing. I remember back in the day I think my dad must have had four or five of these he ordered and man they were nice. He had every option and aftermarket seats and all that stuff and they put the roll guards and the square tube grill guards and the Lund little visor thing came with the clip. Gotta have the clearance lights if you got a dually right? You can't not have clearance lights on your dually. Spoiler package and fender well kit, whatever you want to call it. The front bushwhacker looking flares. Alcola aftermarket wheels. I mean, this was the cat's meow back then. You just didn't get no hootsier than this. This was your king ranch of the day. And these cars, trucks are a steal. That's all there is to it. I mean, I had a guy yesterday hot rodding me in his brand new Power Stroke. Paid fifty thousand, fifty-five thousand dollars. This truck, buy yourself a down payment on a house, and this truck with your leftover pocket change. I mean, it's ridiculous. Buy used. Find a nice one-two owner and do it to it. Eh, that's a big truck. I couldn't keep it in frame there. My name is Nathan. It's four zero six five four four six nine one nine. You can reach me anytime. Hope that's my thumbnail. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, man, it's long. That's what she said. And But the two-wheel drive and everything, man, this thing turns on a dime. Um, in comparison to, like, other four-wheel drive on these that just don't turn. For what I expected, it just wasn't going to turn like this. You get a few years before when they were just coming out. and eh, It's not as nifty. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go around underneath and everything, show you that. www.cerealmarshmallows.com Like I say, aftermarket alcohols. The wheel wells are in great condition. Plastic's not all banged up and cracked or nothing. This may have been off-roading and stinking knocking it all off or anything. A little chipping on this and everything. And of course it's been painted to have this stuff on it. Um, emblem missing. You're going to find the miscellaneous chip here and there. And rock chips along this front piece here. You can see. Um, this is a piece of, like, aluminized, really weird heating and tape. It's very thick and it's on there. But I don't know why. Um, maybe it was rock chips and stuff. Um, this is a chrome thing that's probably had some silverish paint put over it because it was starting to get older or something so but it looks nice you really couldn't tell but I looked at it a little closer and I think somebody's touched it up a bit um, brush guard great shape bumpers chrome great shape underneath this truck it's clean um, if you leave it set for a while there's a you will get a couple little drips on the oil. Um, leave it set a week and stuff, you'll get a little 50 cent piece or bigger little drip. Um, nothing bad on it, it runs good. And you've got, oh, this spot here. I'll take you on a truss drive here in a second. Um, chip in the windshield or two. Great shape, oh look at that. Oh, and on the pipes on this thing, let me get under here for you. You can see there on the um, motor, there's a part there that's dripping from that tube up there. That it, a new oil pan would take care of any of that drip, but you get that little drip out of the side there unless that's addressed. So the seals are all good, it's just that part on the side of the oil pan. Um, the tranny's good. I'm sure you'll find a wet gasket on it somewhere on the whole truck, but Overall, it's straight and clean as can be. These got corrosion on surface. The way the bars 
connect to this factory. Aftermarket, excuse me, um, running guards. <laughs> it's interesting how they used to attach them here, and it's nifty. It's definitely, definitely sturdy. Um, and they're in great shape, shiny as can be. A couple of your lights down here are probably discolored a little bit. Um, you can find a chip here and there. in good condition. I think they must have touched up something on the lumber rack while it was on. Um, you got these husky liners back here for it. A few chips here. Nobody smacked up the duels. A couple chips on it, but nobody smacked them up. Your Alcolas could use a bit of a polishing, but overall, man, they're shiny. It's going to be in great shape. No one's ripped all that plastic off or nothing. Spare tire's not here. Um, what is that, 12 inch drop hitch bumper? This is a big one you used to buy. Four or five hundred bucks, I'm sure. Little chips here. Same piece of tape there across that. Your D is, or R is missing. Here's your roll along. A little corrosion behind that. Here's the roll along. Bed's in good condition. A few holes there. Looks like they had a fifth wheel or a snack type of thing in it. Yeah, I wanted to make sure all your stickers are there. Oh, you don't like the lumber rack and you want to know how much without it. Well, that's not the specific one I was hoping to get for my Mercedes. I got an old 90. Three S500 beater that I'd drive around and it wouldn't look exactly like I want to look on my Mercedes but I, I'd make that one work for my Mercedes if you really want to part with it. I'd buy it for a dollar. Otherwise you could take it and do whatever the heck you want with it. To me I ain't got a truck without this one so chips there I'm pointing out by the way. So same price with or without it. Um, I just ain't got much use for it. See, they got a little bit of overspray on here. I think they touched this up a little bit. Maybe it was like that. I mean, it's just right there and right there, I noticed. Bed's got the little bit of chips in it, of course. Chips here. Chips along the bottom. The running boards are in great condition. Little teeny bit of corrosion starting right there. And chips right there. Where it chipped. This one here is the worst corrosion I found on the truck. Oh, that little bar. That's about it. Now let's go ahead and take you for a test drive here. Try and find somewhere to show you the interior. That ain't so bright. www.serialmarshmallows.com Click on blog when you get there. Or you can go to missoulaautoauction.com and um, check me out there. Got all kinds of old unique one and two owner vehicles <clears throat> low mile stuff this is 88,000 original miles 88 mm, it's a little less than that maybe a little more hang on I'll get inside and we'll figure this out oh I'm missing the F-350 logo on the other side I think I told you that but just making sure window sweeps are cracked in places I just bought these for a Jeep they really make it look nice to have that let's see 82,000 Beautiful on the door panels, kind of a buckskin palomino cover, color, <laughs> cover. Um, that's a little discolored. The old school cup holders, which you don't see everywhere anymore. This was, they didn't have those in these days, a lot of cup holders. So you had one for your coffee here, and you got the, oh, look at this seat. I gotta show you the seat. Be nicer to see when I get it out of the sun. Hardly anywhere on the pedals at all, or the heel pad. I mean, the truck. Somebody took care of this thing and hardly ever drove it. Um, I honestly believe it's a one owner, not a two owner, but it's a little hard to say that with the auto check thingy. Somebody moves and gets a new title when they move or something or pays it off from a loan, counts as a title and an owner. So it is imperfect, but I'm not gonna claim it's something that I can't back up. So it's two owner according to them. Button on it. So. Ignition is bad, and if you uh, fires right up, if you don't get the key in the exact right spot, you go click, click, click on a starter a little bit. 
but that works perfectly. A little bit of a miss at an idol. Can I shake a little bit? Got probably a, maybe your famous Ford exhaust leak starting, but if you give it just a little bit of gas. It goes away a lot. I think there might be a motor mount rubber that's getting a little loose on it. And it's got a little bit of a miss in it. I put new um, spark plugs in it. That didn't take care of it. I'll show you under the hood here in a minute. Four sixty, and it gets down and goes. This thing will pull the bark right off a tree <laughs> for a lot less than fifty, fifty-five thousand dollars. Downshifts, upshifts, everything just like it should. Um, got AC and all, needs to be recharged. The compressor is there and spins free. So I'm sure all that is good, but um, it does need Freon. And I believe in this year, you're probably looking at R12 in it. My guy will redo it for 85 to a, let's say 165, because it all depends on how much Freon it takes. And in this year, I mean, this big of a rig, you're gonna have a little bit of Freon in it for sure. I clicked drive and not overdrive there. Dual tanks. I like the seats, they're very comfortable. This seat's a likely a $2,000 seat. So, it ain't gonna turn like a little Porsche or something, but in the world of four-door dually crew cabs, it turns good. And we are not gonna have a non-sunny spot here to show you the interior. Um, which really is not cool. Um, I'm gonna try something here. Nathan, 406-544-6919. It sure would be nice if I could get the sun not to be so bright in this front seat. So you can see where everything goes on it. And that's the best I can do. It turns off with the key and all the power comes on with the key. But the button starts at little console here, flip up. Seat's in great condition. And, um... That's about all I can show you on the color there. Like a tan. Real beautiful. The new weather, or sun pattern, really screwing with the way I do my interior pictures. Little gash right there. Teeny. Um, some little marks, like scratch marks or something there. You can't really see them, but they're there. Looks like a burn. Some sort of right there. You probably never see that, but it is there. And it does not smell like smoke or anything in here. And my guess is whoever at the auction, I get so many deals at the auction where they mess with stuff and sit there and smoke in a truck. Um, it does not smell like smoke, and I have not done some stinking jasmine, vanilla, butternut stuff in it to make it not smell this way. It does not smell like it was smoked in, but somebody got a hold of his thing for a little while there. Um, other than that, interior lights work and all. Headliner's in great shape. Man, these seats, I'm telling you, I'm hoping you can see the color a little bit better from over here and the contour and everything. You've got like a cool, sporty contour. A uh, little corrosion on this kind of stuff just around the edges of it. Just want to show you to where you're seeing what I'm seeing here. Show you under the hood real quick. Back seat. Ouch. Hit my head there. Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. 
And by any time, I mean up till stinking 2 in the morning. I'm answering my European calls, so I'm up answering calls and emails and stuff anyways. Give me a ring. Let's talk about this thing. I sell cars. This one's for sale. www.serialmarshmallows.com Click on blog. You can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. And that's about it. Your power windows are good. Your power locks are good. Chrome on it's beautiful. It stays up like it should. We go 460. And this thing, you still work on it with a Haynes manual and stuff. This may it tore it apart or nothing. Look at them big old valve covers. I bet you somebody's done a little head work or something maybe. It's, it's a ballsy truck. Um, compressor spins free and everything. It's all good. Just needs a recharge, I'm sure. Looks like they may have updated the connector on it. Well, that's about it. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Always around. And I can help you export anywhere. Thanks for watching.